And we're back! Hello! Hello, it's back with me, Tristan, when Ready Players Plays with Tom of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Why are you putting on that strange voice? I don't know, why are you putting on an accent? <coughs> because my accent wobbles whenever I watch stuff with English things in it. Fair enough. Because I'm weird. Child liberation complete! Yay, we liberated all of the children. They are now free forever and nothing ever bad will happen to miners ever again. All right. I'm don't want to I'm going to try that last. You know what? After last episode, I think I'm going to leave that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's take down the gang stronghold of Spitalfields. Mmm, delicious. I love a good Spitalfield. Right after I look for some treasure. <gasps> I've had a skill it? point. Oh, what do you get with skill points? Uh, skills. Uh, such as uh whittling. Okay, oh, all right. Uh, and so they're, like, they're like useless D&D skills, <laughs> like cooking and swimming and... <laughs> Let's have a look, actually. I'm bloody, sure there's something good we can put 3. in there. 3.5. What do we got? We got... Uh, rope. Kidnap. I was so, so annoyed that freaking rope was a skill in D&D 3.5. What does a rope do? Oh, it's so you can tie knots without them bloody coming apart. And it's just like, come on, it's just fucking just dexterity. Good. Just do a, dex, just do a goddamn dex check. All right, so every thousand points we get a brand new skill. What's this one? More crafting resources. That's probably going to be useful, I okay. guess. Mad skill buying. I've reached a new level. Yay! Level two. I'm um, level well two. Done. Oh, good. There's levels in this game <laughs> again. Stall stat increases by seven. You are less likely to be detected. Sure. Okay, that's good. Well, I guess in the stealth game, I don't <laughs> want to be stealthy. All right. Were there levels in Black Flag? I can't remember. I don't actually think there was. <gasps> the ships had levels. The ships had I'm levels. I'm pretty sure the ships had levels, but the, the human enemies were just, you know, you just hit triangle to counter and then hit X to murder. I'm fairly certain that's what it was. It's yeah. been a while. Speaking of hit X to murder. Yeah! Yay! I remember the button this time. <laughs> we're very good at our job. Hello! Oh, oh, good God. <laughs> I saved you! Now she, run! And she just drenched in blood. <laughs> I saved your life. Are you trying to stop a mugging? Hiya! Good lord. That's really fun. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a murder spree as I run to my objective. I love how that bloke was like, oh, I'm going to come over there and bloody rip you a new one. <laughs> the entire time, this is after you've murdered four of his friends and you're running directly at him with a knife in your hand. Free and protect the captured clinkers from the blighters. Uh, it's racist. Oh, my good lord. All right. Let's get high up. The clinkers. The clinkers. <laughs> Ancestors to the colonel. Clink. Oh, okay. That was that was that was real bad. I did a good job, didn't I? That was real bad. I uh, sure was. That's from a TV series. I'm pretty sure I've never seen before. Probably was. Who are you? What? Sniper. Snipper. Ah, I love s <laughs> Snipper. What's your nickname? <sighs> Snipsies. Fucking hated snipers in Black Flag. They were the bane of my existence. And we're fine. Okay. <gasps> a throwing knife! Finally, we can fuck these up again. <laughs> da, 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 da. Eliminate all blighters. Double escascination. Oh, oh, what? Okay, fine. Ah, yeah, you almost got him. Sort of a weird angle, I suppose. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> Thanks, man. That was really helpful. <laughs> he just took out half his bloomin' health. His bloomin' health. <laughs> Be quiet. I know. Sorry, it's just ama It's just awesome because I get to listen to this. <laughs> Who are you, friend? Hello. Uh oh. That's all right. We've got to kill all these guys anyway. Catch the lookout though before he gets reinforcements. That's a lookout. What? Did you not see oh. it come up on the screen? Excuse me. Excuse me. Where's the lookout? Stab. Up. Oh, too late. Hello. Oh, there's twelve of you now. Don't. Oh, okay, now I see what that does. What does what? does what? Okay, so if they shoot at me and I push triangle and I've got some knives, I'll just throw a knife back at them, basically. Oh, cool. If not, then, you know, I'll certainly do something! Ellie! Oi! 
On counter. Counter. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna be honest, it's- Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! god! Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's a neck landing. Holy shit. Uh, we saw Solo, a Star Wars oh, fuck story yeah. last night, and some of the moves that freaking Chewbacca pulls off. Oh, it's brutal. Well, he is a good He's Lord. a Wookiee. He's got to have a brutal yeah. fighting style. And I love that. I lo absolutely love that, how they was like, no, no, he's a Wookiee. He is strong AF. Um, <laughs> strong AF. It's true, though. And it really shows. I thought it was... Yeah, I... It was a really fun movie. It's not, you know, winning any bloody awards, except that it might. Hey! Yay! Yeah. We burnt a flag. Um, no, that was it was a real fun movie. Um, I liked how they weren't shoving, apart from like one at the very end. Yeah. They weren't shoving Star Wars references in our faces. No. Um, except the Kessel Run. Like, the Kessel Run is actually a major part. It's, it's almost like an entire act of the film. Oh, yeah, it is. But it makes it? sense. You know, we get to actually see Solo do the Kessel Run and what the hell the Kessel Run actually is. Yeah. Oh! You and your brother are attracting the wrong kind of attention. I love how he's dressed. Oh, yeah. As you like. Wait, he's got a grapple gun. He does have a grapple gun. Oh, my God, he's got a grapple gun. Batman, hooray! I want this grapple gun. Recruit rooks to fight alongside you. Okay, well, that's kind of hard to do right now, but sure, why not? Yup. Anyway. Just more fighting. Sticker. Sticker, right with your stick. Well, that was on. Thanks, guys. Oh, hello. I have a job for you. Oh, okay, I see. They get to, like, come along with me. Yeah, okay. Right, I like. So now what do you do? Uh, now I do more missions. Oh, okay. Okay, so this guy just bamfed out of there, I guess. Uh, they setting up a, a mini-boss, I suppose. Probably. He's like, hey, look, he's got a thing you want. Get him! Yeah. <laughs> There's an unconscious man in there. Holy shit, it's you! Uh, uh, uh whatever, can, sure. Don't drive like a fucking toss pot, please. Take me to my destination, and you oh, better take me to my destination. You just completely drove over a small child. Eh, it's fine. They're already going to die in the factory anyway. Oh, you're not driving? No. Oh. This guy's doing realize. it for me. I'm driving in style. Riding in style. I was going to say, are you controlling the car? Absolutely right not. Okay, cool. I'm assuming it's just, he's just going to go to my objective over there. I should have guessed, by the way, he's not uh, destroying anything. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great driver. No. No, I can't really say no. that. I can't say that with a good conscience knowing that you actually teach me how to drive. Yes. Yeah, uh-oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Social, Social stealth. <laughs> it's what I do on a daily basis. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm lonely. <laughs> Aw. Aw. That's how we get the views here on YouTube. We go for sympathy or pity, whichever one comes first. Probably pity. Pity. It's pretty much pity. Social stealth. Activate. Oh. I don't think that's social stealth. This is that's social... social stealth. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Pip, pip, tool to pips, pears and apples, yes. <laughs> and big fight on the tail end, Charlie. What, what? Walk through a dense crowd. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> just giving me shit and just like, and you're done. Thank you. Do they recognize you? I guess. Like, they go like, Ooh, what? An explosive crate? Who's that? I think oh, those are my rooks. They're your, they're your um, allies, yeah. That's an explosive crate over there. Shh. Kill the target with a crate of dynamite. You've really got to start reading these things. I really should, shouldn't I? Because you're supposed to kill him, not knock him out. That's alright. After I take this care of this guy, I'll just fucking explode him. Yep. Oh, 
Punch, punch, punch. Okay, yep. So, yep. Just please read the actual instructions. Don't be like goddamn Game Grumps. That's fine. See? We're good. And... Put away! We're all fine. Escape the... Alright, I guess I gotta go back. Oh, God. We're so bad at this. I'm so, I'm fantastic at this. Oh, okay. That's it, I guess. Yep. It's a real basic... That was mission. really easy. I didn't even do it correctly. Where are the flippin' story missions? That's what I want to know. I think the story mission... The story missions come after I've done yeah. this. You've got, you've got to tape back your territory. It's the it's course. the tutorial. It's the tutorial. Like here's how you win. Here's the gameplay loop that you'll be doing for the next twelve hours. Hooray! Oof. All right, now we got to take care of this motherfucker. <laughs> ah, my old nemesis, Homer Dalton. We'll make it through. Don't worry, everyone. Who's the- oh, that's my guy over there, down there. Okay. I was wondering what the flashing dude icon was like, wait, have I- oh, that's right, I have people. Even though it's not established in the story that I suddenly have people. Man, I wish I had a flashing dude icon on my, um, heads-up display on front of my face. Would you really want a flashing dude? Yes. Oh, wait, yes I would. <laughs> yes, yes I would. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, but back to Solo Lake, it's- Yes. That, that, that thing we were talking about, like, five, six minutes ago. Yeah, no, it was a- I enjoyed it. It's not a- I didn't enjoy the story very much. The story was pretty basic, um, but the movie was... And I think it could have knew what it was trying to be, which was trying to be a very, very fun, just sort of action movie, um, which it definitely achieved. Um, it was it was more like... I, I enjoyed it less for the story, and I more enjoyed it more for like just the extended universe stuff it provided. Yes. You know, it's not trying to be like an important story. It's just like, here's some Star Wars shit. Enjoy. Yeah, which was very cool. Um... Who are we after? We're after oh, the yellow oh, guy. This, this yeah, we're back to again. this again. Jesus. So you're just going to try and kill everyone first and then... Most the likely seems like the smartest idea. It might be the best idea. While also trying to avoid the bobbies, you know. Yeah. Here's me. Now you've got <laughs> an actual dead body, which is very common in this time and day. Jesus Christ. And He thing. has indeed. Whee! Alright, let's try and stop him before he gets back yep. again. Doing it. Doing it. Quick, cut him off at the pass. And Tristan, what do you do? I'm trying to control this stupid game. What you, what you do, Tristan? Tristan. Tristan. I'm getting there. Tristan. <laughs> Tristan, what you do? I thought you turned achievements off. I did. Was it on your other profile? No, it's this is no, this they're off, but well, they're, obviously uh... they're not. Oh, well. <gasps> you dumbass! <laughs> you straight up fucked it for a third goddamn time. I'm sorry. Why are you this useless? <laughs> Deliver him. <laughs> oh, I brought back a dead man's butt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you are so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, the uh, the the bring him back alive thing was an optional part. It wasn't actually what I was meant to do. Well, it, it kind of was. It was just a preferred. Option. Something is happening. <laughs> I've just killed this man. All right, so Jesus Christ. Let's find a cart. <laughs> 
Also, I wish that people could have seen your face when you stabbed him. <laughs> I was just like, it's that. It was that one. It was like one last minute second of recognition of like, oh fuck, I just pushed the wrong button, didn't I? <laughs> Hello, Mister Policeman. Excuse me. Look out! He's got a whistle. <laughs> uh oh, the coppers are on me. Run. Run like the wind. She's getting away. Oh, there she go. There we go. It's fine. We're, we're, all, we're all fine here. You're all fine? Yep, and now we're, we're going to get into a, a car. Right, and, and then you're going to calmly <laughs> and safely drive away. Am I? Yes. <laughs> now, remember, what did we learn today? Mirrors indicate <laughs> shoulder check, steer away. Very good. Right, so pummel pedestrian. <laughs> no, it's not part of the acronym. Pummel pedestrians override the steering wheel. <laughs> not gonna fit. Not gonna fit. Not gonna fit. Ah, oh my god, you actually fit. Holy shit. <laughs> Indicate, indicate your murders. Squeeze in <laughs> into tight spaces and execute the pedestrians. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> lowered into the ground. It's fine. That's some good coding right there. Uh, hey! <laughs> Thank fuck. <laughs> so what did you bring? I brought you a dead body. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, th thank you. Gang war. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess after we beat all the activities, then we start a gang war, which then unlocks the next part of the game. Well, wait, I can just fast travel. Fast travel. Get me the fast travel. Yes. By the way, do you... F I've remember seen this thing lately uh, in, like, more modern games, that fast travel, like, costs money and, like, items. Um, what games? Uh, like... Let's see, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn did it, Final Fantasy did it. Oh, really? I'm sure there's other examples, but currently I'm trying to focus on not dying, so. <laughs> my ba All my brain power is focused on trying to play a game correctly. Which you so far have... Not done. <laughs> yup. Um... I don't know. I, I guess I haven't really played a game with that, but if it fits in the fiction and the gameplay of the game, then sure. Yeah. Um, especially if you're trying to make like it's not like a Bethesda game, right? Where you can just quick travel all over the bloody place as long as you've been somewhere. Right. But if it costs money, I suppose it makes sense in other, especially um, um, open RPGs, as a more of a because generally when we start the beginnings of those types of games we have bollocks or money and by the end we have a ridiculous amount that we don't know what to do with so right. in the beginning i guess it kind of encourages you to travel manually from place to place and discover more things suppose so so when you're at a point where you do have a, a truckload of cash to just throw around you've discovered a lot, a lot of good things anyway right so I don't know. Again, yeah. I've yet to actually play like play a game, play a game, play a game like that, that uses something like that. Yeah, fair enough. I guess it's always been something that I'm like, eh, though, really. All right. Well, how about we start this one in the next episode because we're reaching the twenty minute mark. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for coming along, Tom. That's all right. All right, and we will see you in the next part of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Ready, plays, plays. See ya. Bye.